Let us look at section two now, students. This section contains five questions. The answer to these questions are in the form of double-digit integers. So there's a change in pattern in J main students, as you might have all heard. So this time the number of questions has been reduced to twenty-five, and there are five questions to which the answer is in the form of numerical response. Okay. So let us start with question number forty-six. Information is given below for the molecule A and B. So the molecule A is One, two, three, cyclohexane triol. So the number of meso isomer is X one, and the number of DL pairs is X two. Similarly, the compound B is one, two, four, trichlorocyclohexane. The number of meso isomers is Y one, and the number of DL pairs is Y two. So we have to assume that cyclohexane is planar. So the value of X one, X two, Y one, Y two is okay. So let's start with compound A now, students. So we have one, two, three, cyclohexane triol. so we can first have the case in which all the three oh are present in the wedge okay so oh oh and oh we can now have the case in which one oh is in the dash while the other two are in wedge this time we can have the middle oh in the dash okay so now if we try and make the third compound in which the third oh is in a dash position so this will be the same case as the second one so this and this are same in fact they will be in anthomers so we need not count this okay so these three possibilities exist for the compound a if we now look at the meso isomer students the first compound is meso it has a plane of symmetry okay if you look at the second compound the second compound is optically active And if you look at the third compound now the third compound is also meso compound students this is also the plane of symmetry again so this is a sigma this is also a sigma so these are the two meso compounds whereas this is optically active so it is going to have one enantiomeric pair so the value of x2 shall be equal to 1 whereas the value of x1 shall be equal to 2 okay if you look at the compound b now students which is the 1 2 4 3 trichloro cyclohexane so we can again have these cases so in the first case we can have all the chlorine atoms present in wedge we can now convert one chlorine into dash starting from the first carbon now we can talk about the second carbon and we can also have the fourth carbon now So students, we have four compounds. So in this four compounds, we can see that none of these compounds they contain a plane of symmetry or a center of symmetry. So all four of these are optically active. So there is no meso isomer. So the value of y one shall be equal to zero. And if we talk about the DL pairs, so all four of these compounds are going to have their respective DL pairs. So the value of y two is equal to four. So if we talk about the sum, which is x one, x two, y one, and y two, we are going to have a value equal to seven. So the answer to this question has to be marked as zero seven. Okay. Let us look at the next question now. How many ionization isomers of M H two O four C L N O two and C L, excluding it, is possible when metal M is in plus one oxidation state in the given complex, and it should remain in plus one oxidation state in each isomer? Okay. So, if you talk about the ionization isomer students, these ionization isomers they have different ligands inside and outside the coordination sphere. So, if we talk about the ionization sphere, only one chloride ion is outside the coordination sphere, so it can come inside while the NO two can go outside. So, we have MH two O, H 
whole 4 Cl2 the metal is present in the state of plus 1 so it is going to have a negative 1 charge and this shall be attached with NO2 plus ok so this is the only ionization isomer which is possible for this coordination complex students and the answer to this question has to be marked as 0 1 let us look at the next question question number 48 what is the number of isomers shown by CR C2O4 hole twice CN twice 3 negative including stereo isomers as well as linkage isomers okay students if we talk about this oxalate which is the C2O4 2 negative so it can attach only in the cis position so they have to be bonded at adjacent carbons so we can have the case where the oxalate ions are both trans to each other okay so the other two valencies have to be satisfied by the cyanide ions so we can have cn cn similarly we can have cases the c2o4 has been represented with ox oxalate okay so we had cn cn linking via c now we can have nc nc where the linking is via nitrogen and we can have the case in which one is linked via the carbon while the other is linked via the nitrogen okay so these three cases arise when the oxalate ions are trans to each other so this was case one when oxalate ions are trans to each other okay so we're going to have only three possibilities we're not concerned with the charge okay so these three possibilities so out of these three given structures none of them are optically active so none is optically active so there will be three isomers in which the oxalates are trans to each other we can have cases where the oxalates are cis to each other okay so the other two valencies have to be satisfied by cyanide so we can do the same thing which we had done before so we can have linking in both cases by C we can have linking in both cases by N and we can have linking in one case via C while the other is linked via N okay so there are three possibilities in this case as well now if we talk about the optical activity all three are optically active in this case there is no sigma there is no I no plane of symmetry no center of symmetry so all three are optically active so they will all exist as DL pairs so there will be six such isomer in the cis form and then there will be three such isomers in the trans form so for this question we have to mark the answer as 09 let us look at the next question now question number 49 a complex of iron and cyanide when treated with a suitable reagent produces a precipitate of Prussian blue color oxidation state of iron in this complex is x and y where y is more than x find the value of 2y by x ok students so if we talk about the Prussian blue students it is formed by the reaction of Fe3 plus with Fe Cn 6 4 negative when they combine they give us Fe4 Fe Cn 6 whole thrice this is the Prussian blue so in this complex the iron is present in a state of plus 3 and plus 2 okay the iron inside the coordination sphere is present in plus 2 whereas the iron outside the coordination sphere is present in plus 3 okay students so we can clearly see that y is equal to 3 and x is equal to 2 so we have to comment on the value of 2 into 3 by 2 which comes out to be equal to 3 so students for this question we have to mark the answer as 0 3 let us look at the next question question number 50 an aromatic compound that has benzene ring with formula C6H4Cl2 has three isomers X Y and Z the order of boiling point of X Y and Z are X greater than Z greater than Y the IUPAC name of X is a B dichlorobenzene a and B are the integers find value of a into B so if we talk about this formula students it is going to have three isomers the ortho the meta and the 
para So if we talk about the boiling point students, the boiling point is generally proportional to the dipole moment. But in this case, there is an exception students. Ideally, what happens is this is the more polar compound. So the ortho, we're talking about the dipole moment now. So the ortho has a greater dipole moment than the meta than the para. But if we talk about the boiling point order students, so in this case we have order of boiling point as ortho greater than para greater than meta okay so anyways we are not to be bothered with the exception in this case the examiner has asked about the compound x the compound x has the greatest boiling point and the greatest boiling point is in the ortho isomer which we could have also arrived at using the normal concept of dipole moment okay so the compound x is to be named as 1 comma 2 dichlorobenzene so a and b are 1 and 2 so the product of a into b is equal to 2 so students for this question we have to mark the correct answer is 0 2 okay. this is it for today guys i hope the solutions were clear to you thank you